How do we convert a 984 ladder program into Unity? We can convert a Concept, ModSoft, ProWorks32, and an NXT database into Unity. And we can go further back through our conversion utilities from the 484 and um, other PLCs. So step one of this process is give us a call. Call your account manager. Let them know that you're doing this conversion. We can help you. If you don't know who that is, just dial 888-778-2733. Let them know where you're at. We do have an account manager. We can give you a call and we can help you be successful in this conversion. We have a great field service team who will come out there. If you don't know ProWorks 32, if you don't know Unity, they can help you. They can make sure that this conversion goes smoothly so that you look good because that's our ultimate goal is to look good ourselves. So step two after you've contacted us is to open a project. So we're going to open an NXT project that's a Compact 984. I'm going to convert it into an M340. The symbols will be my tag names and I'm going to use Modbus or flat addressing in case an HMI or another PLC was talking to this guy. So I'm going to say OK. While we do the conversion, let me talk about analog for compact. Use dip switches and things like that. Do not unwire the compact until you know what it's attached to because we're going to configure these analogs within the PLC, within the M340, at the module in the software. So it is a software configuration. The other thing to note is Modbus Plus. Modbus Plus is not built into the M340. So it does have an external module, so that will also need to be addressed. So let's take a look at the log file. We did this at 5.45 in the afternoon just because I like to work so much. Uh, the M340 was converted from the compact. We have 94 networks and we have a bunch of function blocks throughout. So that's the log file. You can take a look at that. Let's look at how the conversion laid out the rack. Um, and this is a reason to give us a call. You'll notice the compact rack had the, the compact system had two racks. The compact system used eight channel AC inputs and eight channel DC or AC outputs. So if we looked at the application, maybe we fit this in one 12 slot rack. Maybe we combine the two AC inputs into one 16 channel because these are 16 channel cards. Maybe we do the same. That eliminates a whole rack, a whole extra power supply and all that. So again, it, it, it's a good idea to take a look at the application. Give us a call. Let us help you figure out what you're trying to do so that you can be successful. So now let's go look at the application itself. Again, the conversion took the uh, AC inputs, con tells you what it converted. It says, whoa, wait a minute, there's an analog. You need to go check, and this is going to give us an error. So we go check, and then we just say after we check, we just comment this line out. Now it's commented out. Now we're good when we convert it. So let's look at the logic itself. We have several networks, 94 to these. We've got the NXT looking editor here, so you don't have to learn anything new, just, just the uh, um, Unity kind of GUI. And uh, that, that's the conversion in a nutshell. So the conversion is fairly straightforward, but there's enough, um, enough to look at that I would highly recommend you give us a call, you get us involved on the front end, and you let us come in and help you with our great field service team.